Hey guys, um, I'm doing a barn vlog today because I haven't done one in ages and there's also a couple of new horses well they're not new, I just never really had them on the vlogs or videos before because I wasn't riding them but Cal and Fiona are going to be in vlogs every day now because I'm riding them well I'm breaking Cal and I'm hopefully gonna ride Fiona for the first time today so yeah, it's very exciting and I also have Starlight, which you probably saw in the show vlog I put up. So yeah, I'm so excited. Also, it lashed rain literally three minutes ago and now there's blue skies. So it's just gonna be one of those days. Yeah. So I try and get as much footage as I can. I don't have anyone to film me riding except hopefully Fiona. So I just get like some bits and bobs and yeah. See, look, look those scary clouds there and then Blue, blue skies there, I don't understand it, this is Ireland. So yeah, I'll, get, I'll see you guys later. So I have head colour and a little handful of feed because I'm going to get Cal now. Um, he is a three year old that we bred. Um, Fiona is his dam, who you'll see later, and he's by a stallion called Yustinov, who is a lovely, lovely stallion. So yeah, I'm breaking him now, because he's three, and I'll just do like a little bit of light work with him and then he'll get a break until the winter holidays and then I'll do a bit more and then next year like I won't jump from or anything this year of course next year he'll jump as a four-year-old hopefully if he's good if he's a donkey sure we'll see <laughs> maybe I'll just hack him <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna get go get him now so there's Indy and there's Fiona and here's Cal here and Welbeck of course is at the back hey Cal you good boy. He's so friendly. <laughs> good boy. Thank you, good boy. Just to address all the comments I got on the last video where I used strings in the video, um, his head isn't tied down, you can see that the string runs through the bit, he can turn his head around, he can walk all around the place, it is not tying his head down, so please don't shout horse abuse at me, thanks. <laughs> so I probably used some old footage to video tacking him up because I didn't video it just there now, but um, he's just going to chill in there while I do one of the other horses and then once he's kind of settled down, then I'll give him a lunch for the first time, which is kind of exciting, but it's probably going to be pretty entertaining. So yeah, good boy, Cal. So it's back raining again, so I'll try and make this short. But um, this is Starlight, the next horse I'm going to be doing. And uh, she's a six-year-old Irish draft cross thoroughbred, so she's an Irish sport horse. And she is so nice. And she also has that fly veil on, flying head, fly. Thing. I don't know what it's called because she has like a pink nose and it's sensitive to like the buttercups in the field and stuff so it just kind of protects it from that and the white stuff is pseudocrim <laughs> so yeah she looks very fancy in the rain like <laughs> but yeah um so I'm going to be lunging her today because we're working on her canter transition so I think on a lunge it might be a good Way to improve it because she is really nice in the trot and really nice in the canter it's just as she goes into canter she just throws up her head every time so yeah we're going to do a load of transitions on the lunge and hopefully she might good girl she might be a good girl won't you she's so pretty can't really see with the big uh, beekeeper's mask on her head but she's very pretty <laughs> so yeah also i forgot to say thank you so 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 much for 12,000 subscribers that is really crazy like we kind of just hit 10,000 not that long ago so yeah um it's just thank you so much that's just really 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 nice 
and also we got uh, 100 likes on our Facebook page in like just a couple of days so thanks for that the link is in the description if you haven't checked it out already we really appreciate now like on that so yeah thanks thanks guys thanks Yeah, I'm getting a bit of feed. Pretty good girl. Hey, girl. Oh, my flies are in the feed. That's girly, ain't ya? Come on. See you later, Starlight. Yeah, she can go very far, does she? All the field. And she stays there. So next I'm going to lunge Cal, and this is his first time ever being lunged, so um, there he is, neighing at me. Um, so it should be kind of interesting. Um, it's not something I always look forward to lunging horse for the first time, they don't really get it. Hello! Uh, just close this door. So yeah, I always loosen, I always loosen the strings before I lunge them for the first time as well because like the strings are saying slow down and I'm whipping, like with the, not whipping, with the whip I'm saying go forward so they get very confused if you don't loosen it. So I make it really nice and loose so he just for the first time understands everything's just going forward, there's nothing like stopping him. So yeah, you're gonna be a good boy. I'll try and video as much as I can. But I can't video, I can't leave the camera set up because it's like about to rain so I don't want it to like rain, I have to like stop him and try and get the camera out of the rain and stuff just say so yeah, I'm gonna have it like inside my jacket it should be all good so yeah I'll see you in a bit I've untacked him and I'm gonna give him a bit of feed because he's such a good boy, aren't you? As a nice little reward for you. Good boy. Oh, so good. So next up is Indy. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, she said hi. Um, so I'm just gonna do, be doing flat work on her. Oh, it's so windy and horrible. Look at those stupid airs. Um, so I'm just going to be doing flat work on her, so I'm not going to get a video probably because it's hard to video with a tripod flat work because you're like going the whole way around the arena and stuff like that. Jumping is a bit easier. Oh, it's all dark. Okay, girl. So yeah, um, but I'll video a bit when I'm on her, but I'll be videoing Fiona and Welbeck who I'll be doing after lunch. So after I finish Indy, I'm going to have lunch. Usually I would have been um, eating lunch a bit earlier, but I got up an hour later today because I have friends coming over later. Yes, I do have friends that aren't horses. I know, I'm proud of myself too. And so we're going out tomorrow, tonight and I figured that if I got up an hour later, I'd be able to stay up an hour later. Like, I don't know, we'll see We'll see if I'm not absolutely ready for bed by 10 o'clock, which is always a bit sad, I'm like an old woman. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna go tack her up now, bye.
been just walking in the off now and she was so good like so so good we just did flat work but oh i'm so happy with her i changed her bit actually a few days ago to a kind of thicker snaffle because i found i thought the one i was using was just a little bit too harsh um like it was just a snaffle as well the previous bit but it was quite thin so it just i just found she kind of overreacted quite a lot to when I just um, kind of slow her down a little bit but this one she is so much happier she's really like chilled and her canter transitions were so good I was so happy I literally just put my outside leg back just a little bit and she just goes straight into canter lovely and soft no like freaking out or anything oh I'm so happy with her <laughs> just the little things like oh going into canter but you know I was just really really happy so yeah, I'm kind of gutted I didn't have anyone to film me because I would like to see what it was actually looking like but I'll get a flat work video soon enough for her ad actually when she goes up for sale so yeah, um, so yeah, I'm just walking her off now and now I'm going to go and get a bit of lunch because I'm starving and then all I've left to do is Fiona and Welbeck after lunch and Fiona, I'm just going to lunge and then hop up on her for the first time in like 5 years <laughs> um, hopefully she's grand, I say she will be like, she's kind of She's been going very well in the lunge, like as if she's never been out of work. So I say she'll be okay to get up on. And then Welbeck, I'm jumping her. So I'll hope to get a few videos of that. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Good girl. Little dressage superstar, aren't you? Yeah. Get some food on the feed. Oh, do you like that? One hand, can I do it? Let me see. It's just like yeah. <laughs> Good girl. Run free. Run. Uh, you're not running. Why right, aren't you running? Do you want to come back in? <laughs> Good girl. They're in the very furthest corner of the field. <laughs> There's Bobby. Yeah, in just a little while it took for me to have lunch, they wandered down two fields away. <laughs> Typical. I'm gonna get well back now. I have well back now in tow, and it absolutely lashed rain while I was having lunch. So she's a little bit wet. She must have hid under the tree somewhere because she isn't super wet, but she got a bit rained on. Didn't you, Elbeck? So yeah, I'm bringing her in now and I'm gonna jump her and I'm doing a cross pull to one kind of shorter stride to a, a wide, a really wide spread, basically like wide but low. So yeah, uh, just to get her to use her back end a bit more. She can be a little bit lazy with it. So if it's super wide, then she's gonna have to try a bit harder. So hopefully I get some videos if it isn't raining. There's a few dodgy clouds about, but um, hopefully it'll be okay. Let's see. See you guys when I'm tacking her up. So I'm just walking well back off now after jumping at her and she was pretty good. Um, she was just really fresh when she was jumping. You couldn't see it in the video because um, I was only using the tripod. 
But after the fence, she'd like gallop off. Like she was just being kind of crazy. But yeah, she jumped well at least. Um, yeah, I put up a vertical then at the very end just to make sure that she didn't think that jumping like across fen really wide fences was how she would should jump all fences, like verticals, like mm, that's not good. So yeah, I just um, put vertical to make sure she also would sit up and jump nice over a tall vertical and she did, so that was all good. And yeah, just uh, again, the spread was to get her to use her back end and stretch over the jump a bit because she can be a bit tight on her back end sometimes so I just uh, found that tip online so I thought I'd give it a go so yeah we'll see how she jumps on Saturday I'm going to a show we're going to jump the 120 and 130 so yeah fingers crossed all goes well here we have Fiona she looks really small in this but she's actually huge like her withers is well above my head <laughs> she also has the craziest mane which I'm not looking forward to taming because I was going to take forever to pull so I've just kind of been leaving it and putting it off for the moment. So yeah, I'm going to be riding her today, which I'm really excited about. So I need to go get my dad to give me a leg up and he's also got a video, very kindly. Although it's just kind of sprinkling again. Mm, I wish the rain would go away. So yeah, I'm going to go attack her up. So Fiona is a nine-year-old mare and she's by a really famous Irish stallion called Clover Flush. We bought her as a three-year-old and she was broken, not by me, I was only like 15 at the time so I was not capable of riding her um, and she was ridden a bit as a four-year-old and then we put her in foal when she was five and she had Cal, I think when she was five, I don't know, and then she kind of just chilled for another year and then she had another foal and that was last year and then she kind of just chilled again so she's finally getting back into work five years after being broken so yeah and hopefully this summer I'll get to do a bit with her a bit of jumping we'll see how she goes um you can see that she is very like unsure and but once she kind of relaxes and remembers oh, like what riding is all about I'm sure she'll be grand so yeah I'm really excited about her she has a really really nice jump when we just jumped her as a young horse she was amazing so be interesting to see if she still has the jump with someone on her so yeah that's the plan with her i'm really really excited and it's nice to have another older mare it's funny how she's the same age as welbeck but they're like completely different because welbeck is so much more experience but anyway yeah i'm really really excited about her I'm feeling very awkward because my friend is here in the yard. Look at her! <laughs> I just finished riding Fiona and she was a good girl. She was a little bit sassy, but we're just gonna get over that. <laughs> so I'm actually finished now for today. I'm just sticking around the field and I'm going to the cinema to see Wonder Woman, I think. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!